welcome to my guest bedroom. Everything in this room has been thrifted aside from the bed and a couple of books and uh, also the bird as well. So today I'm going to be showing you this little box of goodies that I thrifted that as far as I'm concerned is probably the most exciting thrift haul that I've done so far. This box is a collection of things that I've been thrifting over the past couple of weeks and the colour palette that I've been trying to stick to for decorating this room is essentially pink, blue, gold, white, maybe some black here and there and uh, green obviously because of the plants and the walls are green as well. So with that in mind, oh my god, I'm just looking at the boxes over there is making me ridiculously excited. Hey by the way, if you haven't been keeping up with the thrift shopping for my guest bedroom saga, there I'll, I'll put like a playlist down below that you can watch because this is not the first episode, you, you've missed out on a couple of things. So maybe go check those out first and then come back and watch this because this is very exciting. Alrighty. Part one. Everyone's been asking me, where is Archie? Where is Archie? He's just, he's here, but Archie really likes to eat plants. And this room is full of plants. All this bird wants to do is consume the forbidden lettuce. Not that sort of forbidden lettuce. This sort of forbidden lettuce. This sort of forbidden lettuce. <laughs> Lots of people have been saying to me, hey Alex, how can you have a bird and all those awesome plants? You can't. You really can't unless you have a room that you can safely enclose all of your plants in, which is what this guest bedroom is for. The guest bedroom is essentially the home to the plants and no birds are normally allowed in here. But because people have been saying to me, please, we want Archie back, bring him back. He, he could be here if he sits on my shoulder and nowhere else. Mister, if you leave my shoulder and you head for that alocasia, you are banished. So with that, let's look at the first item. I spotted this on the shelf at the Vinnie's in Borkham Hills and a lady picked it up and she was looking at it and in my mind I was like put it down, put it down, put it down, put it down and uh, my telepathy obviously worked on her because she put it down and then I swooped in and grabbed it. Bless you. This was four dollars. This is a gold unicorn mirror. Look. Look how incredible. Isn't that just the most incredible thing you've ever seen? Isn't it just glorious? <gasps> Stop! No break! No. My, my uh, camera is having the hardest time imaginable focusing on this. But uh, here it is, a glorious, beautiful gold mirror with a unicorn and I don't want you to break it. For $4, this is like one of the coolest things I think I've ever thrifted. There is no information on it guys, I'm really sorry, there's no brand, there's absolutely no information. I don't know where it's from or who made it or how old it is or anything, but it's a mirror with a unicorn on it and it's beautiful. Look, what's this? So this here is so cute. This was $5. So this is a little vase and uh, this says on the inside, I didn't even notice this until literally just then, made in Italy. The brand appears to say burgers, like ham, hamburgers. This is just beautiful. It's, I can't believe, I don't believe I didn't notice the sticker made in Italy. How cool. It has some sort of brand looking thing on it, but I don't know if this Burgers is the brand or if there's like a logo in here that looks like it says CV. Anyway, it looks vintage -y retro to me. It doesn't look like a new piece by any means. This is going to look spectacular on my dresser. Archie, um, I don't know if you know, but there's something on your head. Hey, oh, oh next up. Oh, this is heavy. I don't remember what this is. Oh, I do remember what this is. Guys. Manifesting. If you're not manifesting things into reality, you really need to start. Like, have you been looking for a gold mirror all your life? Just manifest it. It'll come to be. I've been looking for shell vases. I just manifested really, really hard. And I was walking up to this thrift store. Which one was it? Um, where did I find this? Did I find this at the Vinnies of Borkham Hills? I can't remember. Anyway, I like walked in there and I was saying to myself, I want a shell vase. I want a shell vase. In fact, I don't just want one. I'm going to find a shell vase. And I walked in there and I found a shell vase. <laughs> Look, this, okay, to be, to be fair, I did pay $25 for it. What is it, Archie? You look, you look like you don't like it. Don't you like it? I love it. So the first shell vase that I found was this one. And I found this in the Lifeline at Pennant Hills. This was $7, this one, whereas this one was 25 but you can see the size difference. The blue one is much bigger than the pink one. And also the blue one is much, much heavier too. They appear to possibly be from the same place. 
because, look at this, one of them says 2 and one of them says 88 and the way that that number is stamped on there it looks very very similar so it is possible that the two vases are from the same company but I really like this one how it's got these sort of swirly bits down here and at first when I picked it up I thought to myself oh I'm going to spray paint this pink but actually I think I should keep it in its original greyish pastel blue form. What do you think Archie? Look you know what's fun? It's really fun to yell into things. Bye. You try. You know, there's these hilarious yellow birds that I follow online and their owner like holds things up to them and they put their heads inside and yell. <laughs> Why don't you do that? But let's do it together. Ba! 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 Look, between this big blue vase, this little tiny thing and the pink one, I'm really starting to build up like my dream collection. I'm getting there guys. You just wait until the final reveal when I decorate this room the way that I really, really want it. You just wait. <sighs> Look, you see this? There's another one. Do you guys remember my onyx goblets that I found and then I found like an onyx ashtray? Well now, these are solid stone vases. These are so heavy. Each one is like a solid five kilos. These were $12 each and they're stunning. They are literally like, as far as I'm concerned, look, I know anyone that's not particularly into vases or stone, it's probably like, ah, oh, yes, boring, show me some clothes. But to anyone that can appreciate the fact that this is carved out of solid stone, these are absolutely beautiful. I'm just, Oh my god, I found these at the Lifeline at Pennant Hills and they are just glorious. Look at them! Uh, th what else can I say guys? What else is there to say other than this is solid stone? Solid stone. And because they're hand carved, they're ever so slightly different. The one on the right is a little teeny tiny bit bigger than the one on the left. But they're beautiful and Archie is heading for the plants, so I must back away. Alright, this next thing that I found, I, I actually at first wasn't going to buy this because I, I didn't really like it that much, but this is made of the same sort of thing that the shells... What? There's nothing in there, my friend. He's just put his whole damn head in there. What, what do you think? What do you think you're going to find inside, Archie? Secrets? You're going to find secrets. So this is this really interesting texture, which is the same as the two shell vases too. I don't know what to call this, but it's, it's almost like concrete texture. And uh, on the inside, it's blue. It looks quite old. Someone's definitely had some plants in there because there's dirt on the inside. This was a measly $2. Two, two buckaroos for this guy. This fits in really nicely with the theme, with the shells. I know it's not quite a shell, but because it's made of the same sort of textured ceramic that the shells are, it fits in really well. Definitely going to use this as a vase or possibly to serve Archie his breakfast out of because he can't keep his head out of it. All right, next, look, you can't really go wrong, bless you, with paying 50 cents for a teeny, teeny, tiny little shell vase. This is an Archie-sized dish. I can, I could serve you food off this if you want to be too, Archie. Yeah, we, we can put seed on the little tiny shell dish. Are you going to take the sticker off for me? Okay, oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you, Archie. Good boy. Thank you. This little thing has like tiny little legs on it and again it's going on the shell, the shell, punny. We're punny in this household. Oh my god, this next thing. Get excited. Are you excited? I hope you're excited. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you're excited <laughs> because you should be excited too because the thing I'm about to show you guys is green. He just pooed on me. Archie, this is a Calvin Klein dress. Oh God, you're a traitor. All right, so this, I found this in the Vinnies at Dural. It was in a glass display cabinet and I looked at it and my eyes just lit up and I said to the lady, I was like, that thing there, please, please show it to me. Thinking that my eyes were deceiving me and that it couldn't possibly be real, but alas, it was real and I spent $50 on it. This is an onyx jewellery box. So this is made of the same stone as my goblets and my ashtray and those two vases that I just showed you. This thing is without a doubt an antique. It has survived the test of time and now there's a bird chewing on it. So you, you can you not? It has these beautiful little brass legs on it and uh, it's carved out of a solid piece of stone and you can actually see the continuation of this line here where there's like a line naturally in the stone coming down here 
and then when it opens there's the continuation of that line down here because it's just one big solid piece of stone and on the inside it's lined with red velvet so I was more than happy to pay $50 for this because this is just one of the most incredible things I've ever seen excuse you this is just glorious and part of me wants to take it to Sam's workshop and polish up the brass feet but also I'm a little bit worried. I really don't want to damage it. So I think I should maybe just leave it in its original condition without polishing it up. But this is ridiculously heavy. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my God. Guys, I am like shaken to my core that I found this. This wasn't in the cabinet when I went on like a Wednesday and then I went on a Friday and it was suddenly there. And I was like, oh, thank God I came today. <coughs> I thought, thank God I came today because had I not come today, someone else probably would have bought it and I would have missed out. But the lady said to me when I was buying it, she's like, oh, this would make a fantastic gift. Who are you going to give it to? And I was like, me, me, I'm, I'm giving it to me. The next item is actually this little basket. And I know this isn't particularly exciting to anyone aside from me, but Ages ago, a friend of mine gave me a gift hamper and it had like wine and cheese and crackers and all sorts of things in it And the company that made the gift hamper made it in this basket and I currently use the basket for recycling We have this system here in Australia called return and earn and you collect cans and bottles and you can take them uh, And like put them in a machine and it gives you money and um, we collect cans and stuff for our friend Grace She's like massively into it. So every single one of our friends all of our family members all of our friends Everyone collects cans and bottles for Grace and then Grace Grace goes and recycles them and once a week I hand Grace this little basket with full of cans and stuff anyway story is that I have a basket like this and then I walked into Vinnie's and I found the exact same basket so I was like perfect because then when I hand Grace her basket full of recycling I can just put the empty one in its place because normally Grace will take the basket with her and then return it to me next time she sees it so now I have like this little system for recycling and recycling is more fun when it looks pretty and recycling doesn't look pretty when it's just a pile of cans on the ground, but when it's a pile of cans in a 50 cent basket, <laughs> couldn't be happier. So yes, now I have two of these little baskets. Alrighty, a couple more things for the guest bedroom now, and this is very heavy and difficult to manage with a bird that's trying to chew the ring off your finger, but I'll see how I go. We have this really cute little lilac trinket tray. This was $3 from Vinnie's, and it's got some sort of potentially Japanese looking pattern on it, but Oh my god, I just couldn't resist. It's beautiful. It's actually made of metal and then it's got resin on the top of it encasing the pattern in resin. And it's lovely and I thought it's perfect for just jewellery and watches and various things on the vanity. I also have this little stack here of frames. So part of my plan for this room is to decorate with various mirrors and frames and things all on the walls. And op shops, thrift stores are perfect for buying frames. So this little white one, bless you. So this is a little tiny white one. It's got a pattern all over it, a dollar. Another one, exactly the same for a dollar. This one was $2 and it's brand new, still wrapped in its plastic. And these two were also $2 and they're identical as well. So I'm not sure if a store donated all of them or maybe like a person bought them all and then never ended up using them, but they're all matching. Part of me wants to spray paint them so they kind of match the gold mirrors that I have. But then the other part of me is like, no, they're perfect the way they are, just leave them. Not sure on that one yet. I visited the Vinnie's at Carlingford and I found these three matching candles. These were spread out all throughout the store. There was one at the front counter, there was one at the front door, and there was one on like a shelf that had some shoes on it. So when I actually took these to the counter to pay for them, the lady was like, where did you find those? They're lovely. And I said, I found them all over the store. They smell like musk. They have this really nice pattern all over them. Oh, oh, absolutely not. They've got this lovely pattern all over them like this and uh, they smell delightful and I think that these look really nice decorating the room. Sorry, it's very hard to show you something when there's a bird trying to consume it. Oh! Ah! Ah! Thanks, Archie. I found these two at a Salvo's. These were $4 each and these are wall shelves. So as you can see on the picture, they've actually got like a pot sitting on the shelf. So when I saw that, I was like, oh look, that's perfect for the for the plant room, the guest bedroom. I'll pick, what, what, don't, don't look at me like that. You're suspicious. 
don't be suspicious. So these shelves, I was really happy when I found these because these were only $4 each and they're exactly what I've been looking for. I've been wanting to put shelves up in this room and put some plants on them, particularly plants that I want to keep out of the way of little birds that might want to eat them for lunch. So I'm gonna have to probably go up to a hardware store and buy a stud finder because I don't just want to go screwing these into the wall willy-nilly and then have half of the wall fall out when I put an alocasia on them. So we'll see how we go with these. These will be in another episode. I'll probably have to consult the boys with this one because I'm not the most handy person myself but very slowly accumulating a bunch of shelves because that wall over there is looking very very blank and it's going to look much better when I put like a sweet potato in a jar. I know it sounds kind of crazy but look a sweet potato in a jar. Yes this is a, a sweet potato that I put in water and I left it for a month and after a month it just started shooting out vines everywhere. So I'm going to stick this on one of these shelves and put it up nice and high and what are you doing? And uh, it's going to look glorious and I, I believe that the sweet potato vine is safe for the bird. I'll have to double check that though. And then the very last thing that I found is yet another shelf, but this one is a love heart. Now this one was... Oh, look, don't chew on the jewellery Uncle Sam made me. You put that down. You are rude. This was... $5 and I thought that I can stick this up somewhere and put a, a bunch of succulents on it. This is the perfect size for like little teeny tiny mini plants. All right, Archie, that's it. You're, you, you are misbehaving, oh, misbehaving. Look, you, why don't you sit on the shelf? Yes, it's a love heart because we love you guys. All right, so I don't know if it's going to fit. Oh, only just, okay, I'm, I'm really gonna have to play forbidden. I'm really gonna have to play around with my little succulents and see which ones fit. But essentially, I wanted to turn this little love heart shelf into a succulent shelf. So I'm gonna get some little mini planters, maybe some little tiny shot glasses, get a bunch of little off cuts of my succulents. Isn't that exciting? And I'll put them all through here and I'm gonna hang this up on one of the walls, maybe over here somewhere. See how this, see we've got this kind of like spot here. I could possibly put it up there, maybe. Still yet to decide, but look, that's just, that's just a quick rundown of the last couple of things that I have at the moment for the guest bedroom. Obviously every day I'm basically still adding things to my guest bedroom collection. I still have a lot more that I want to include, but stay tuned because I actually, in the car, I've, oh, actually, oh my God, I, I'm so sorry guys. I completely forgot to show you something. I also got these. Now these are absolutely glorious. So I found these at the Vinnie's in Pennant Hills. And the first couple of times that I saw them, I really I, liked them, but I didn't buy them because I thought they were too expensive. This little one was $30. And after a little while of thinking about it, I was like, Alex, $30 is really very reasonable for an antique gold mirror. So I got this one. And there's also a matching one that I've got on that bedside table over there. What? But that one was $50. And I said to the lady at the counter, do you know why they're different prices? Cause yeah. they're exactly the same thing. I, I don't really understand. And she's like, I didn't price it, darling. I'm really not sure. So I said, okay, I'll just get the $30 one because my budget was like really tight. And then I left and I sat in my car for a little while. And then I was like, who am I kidding? I should go back and get the, the other one because like how often are you going to find matching mirrors like this? So I went back for it. And when I went to pay for it, she said, look, I'll give it to you for 40. So I got this one for 30, the other one for 40. And then the piece de la route. No, I won't even try and say it. This one here. Now I found this at the Lifeline in Pennant Hills and this one was $90. Now this was actually the first one that I bought. I bought this big one before I bought those two little ones, but this one is just beautiful. The carving is so intricate and detailed and I already have one big gold mirror that I'd already bought. And now with this one and the addition of the two little ones, now I've got four big gold mirrors. And part of me wants to put all of them in this room, but the other part of me thinks, no, I should just spread them out throughout the house. I'm really not sure. I think it's just gonna be a matter of slowly decorating this room and just seeing what fits where. Obviously, I don't have to make the decision right now. I don't have to say like, look, the big one's going in this room and that's where it's gonna stay. I don't have to decide that right now. The bedroom is constantly changing. Like every time you see this room in a video, things are in different spots. Like the dresser now, the dresser looks slightly different to the last time that you guys saw it as well. So I'm just gonna be playing around with everything, seeing what fits where. And if you're excited to see what the guest bedroom looks like at the end of this whole journey, when it's completely decorated in thrifted items, then don't forget to subscribe and uh, 
Give us a like on this video so that I know that you're enjoying this series. I know this is just a quick video today, but just wait. Just, you just, just wait. The closer we get to Christmas, the better the videos are gonna get. So with that, I hope you liked having Archie back with us again today. I think that he liked being back on camera and uh, misbehaving constantly. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah!